All right, thanks so much, Mandy. And so many of you are working so hard to retire at some point. A lot of you have already made it. You've saved, you try to make good decisions along the way, but you just can't coast after you make it to the retirement date. Mark Hall with Ares Financial Group is here to talk to us this morning about mistakes to avoid during those first few years of retirement. As always, thank you for being here, Mark. What it, is? it is great to be here. Thanks, Tanya. All right, so let's talk about some of the top five mistakes, if you would, this morning. And these are common, and there are things that you really need to think about, and you'll see a theme as I talk. You need to plan for things. Absolutely. One is, hey, you are finally reached that retirement date. Now you are still young, you're still active, you got things you want to do, you got some freedom, nobody in charge of your schedule, and you want to go. <laughs> you want to do things. And all of a sudden, what you find is, we think a lot of times, and a lot of folks do spend less in retirement, but, but those first few years may not be the case. You're ready to go. You may actually end up spending a little bit more than you think you are. And, and you know, no offense to anyone here, but daytime TV, not all it's cracked up to be. You want to get up and you want to get out and you want to do stuff. Right. And so you have to plan to make sure that's what we do through comprehensive planning is help our clients understand this is how much I can spend each year. This is how much we need for expenses, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, another thing that we do is we forget about inflation. Mm -hmm. And you kind of ask, why does that matter at all? Right now, our inflation rate it's around a 2% clip. Mm -hmm. The average is 3 to 3.5%. Three mm -hmm. What does that really mean? You got to think about what stuff cost maybe 30 years ago. I was looking at some numbers last night for college, public university, almost $3,000 a year 30 years ago. Now the average 10,000 a year. That's a 300% increase. Wow. A house, a median price, 110,000 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. That price is now over 300,000 for a median uh, really? house. Almost 200% increase over that time. Stuff cost more. So even, th and this is the reason you have to still invest mm -hmm. as you get older, because even if you put money in a CD making 2%, if the inflation rate is 3%, you're not technically losing money, but you're losing purchasing power. That can be a problem mm -hmm. as you get older and, st and still are alive and still need money to right. spend. And go into the details if you would. What do you mean, explain by not having a Social Security strategy? Okay, basically, people don't understand. There's a lot of different things that you can do as far as deciding when to take. You can take that Social Security anytime after the age of 62, but if you hold on until age 70 and anytime in between there, it's going to be guaranteed to grow over time. Right. Wherever you take it, you lock in that number. So if you take it at 62, you're actually locking in a number of 75% of what your full retirement benefits are gonna get less you obviously. could actually make up to 132% uh, mm -hmm. of your full retirement benefits and that's okay some people it's it makes sense to go at 62 others we need to wait it all depends on your situation, your family. That husband and wife may even need to take at different times. It's all about planning, Tonya. Right, and let's talk about medical expenses. Yes. I mean, that has gone up significantly over the years. Well, and, and right now, expenses are expected to go up about 4%, uh, over 4% each year, which is more than the inflation rate. Mm -hmm. The Employee Benefit Research Institute, it's a real thing, estimates that a couple in their retirement to have a 90% chance to actually fulfill all of the requirements that they need for expenses, for, for drug expenses, medical expenses, any idea how much money that may be over time that they would have to spend. Almost no. $300,000 <laughs> is the average, $300,000. Oh it is crazy. That you is. have to be prepared and make plans to, to, to get there or else you're gonna fall short a lot of times. Right, and what's the average retirement rate, would you say? What's the, I mean, I know it's be best, different ages for different people, obviously, but what is the average? As far as when they retire? Right, yes. It, it is across the board. It depends on mm -hmm. your industry, depends on right. whether maybe you, you just don't want to work anymore or maybe you can't work Can anymore. Can I retire? I don't, I don't, I don't Can know. we do it yet? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I don't think, think we're there. I don't, I don't think, think we're I'm there yet. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to retire. <laughs> but that's one thing you have to think about is that if you do retire early, that can, if you're still young, we talked about it to start out with, that lifestyle, there's still stuff going on. You've got to prepare for those things. And if you're, if you're lucky enough to have a pension, you take that early, you may be cutting that benefit. Right. You've just got to make sure, again, the theme here is you have to plan. With our comprehensive planning that we do through Ares Financial Group, it is tailored for each individual family that comes in and talks to us. Mm -hmm. And that we're able, and this is what you need to do with your financial advisor, is to sit down and talk and say, listen, let's look at cash flow, let's look at expectations, let's look at expenses and figure out how much it's going to cost me and what I need to do to make sure Sure that money is there for me down the road. So of course we're happy to help, uh, but you right. need to find somebody that you trust to help you with those things. Okay, and let's remind folks we're running out of time, but where you are located and your telephone number if they well, want to reach you. The office is on West Main Street, but you can reach us at 699-3620, 699-3620. Eris Financial Group. Thank you so much for being here. Thank with you, Tanya. Have a great day. And we will put his number on our website at dothanfirst.com. And we're back with more of your local news headlines. Stay with us.